hasn't said anything yet. Tara's not speaking to us. I don't think it's going to break, but... You never know. Are you going to keep adding sand from the other pail, too? No. At the end, I might, but let's test now. I wouldn't yet. I've got an old tower as a trophy, a couple of boomalaras, a couple of towers, a couple of bridges as trophies. I'll just keep adding to the collection. to maintain a constant impact load for each one. It's only calibrated. You'd have to have calibrated. Gravity is a constant. For all five kilograms. On top of every one of them. Crunch, crunch, and more crunch. failed. Yeah, in the bottom, obviously. Because the bucket is suspended at one location via this rope and S hook here, it does not matter where in the bucket I pour the sand because it's a distributed load going to a point load. However, the rate of sand being poured in does matter because the sand falling and hitting the sand in here creates a small impact load as transferred to the tower. So you want to pour the sand from as, little, as small as the height as possible to minimize that force. Tower 3, mass 16.6 grams, height 60 centimeters, division B, estimated load 12 kilos.
Tara might be speaking to me.